Serve all beings as service to God. Serve society, which is the universal form of God. All are equal in the eyes of God. All are equally qualified to chant the name of God. These are the words from a saint 1,000 years ago. Sri Bhagavad Sri Ramanujacharya is the saint from the 11th century who is considered as an avatar of Adi Sesha. Born in 1017 at Sri Parambadur, India, Ramanujacharya is revered worldwide as a Vedic philosopher, a social reformer, a spiritual leader, and one of the most important exponents of Sri Vaishnava tradition. For the welfare and well-being of all, Sri Ramanujacharya presented the essence of Vedas in the form of nine scriptures. Sri Ramanujacharya, the torch bearer of Vaishnavism, was a perceptor of the Bhakti movement. To commemorate the thousandth birth anniversary of Sri Ramanujacharya, to spread his ideology, and to revive the concept of equality in the world and send a message of unity for generations to come. A wonder has emerged, the Statue of Equality. is the vision of Sri Chinna Jir Swamiji. Padma Bhushan, His Holy Highness, Tridanti Chinna Jir Swamiji is a philosopher, an unparalleled spiritual teacher and practitioner of selfless service to mankind. Chinna Jir Swamiji is yearning to revive the concept of equality in the world, gave birth to a vision which actualized as the Statue of Equality. The project was embarked on a 32-acre land with its budget of a thousand crores. It took eight years of Hercules efforts to bring this amazing project to fruition. At 216 feet, the statue of Sri Ramanujacharya sitting on his lotus pedestal is among the largest metallic statues in sitting position in the world. The height of the Acharya is 108 feet. The height of the Kudandam is 135 feet. With stunning architectural wonders and ancient scriptures all around, the statue is mounted on a 54 feet high building named Badra Bedi and is surrounded by 108 Divya Desans. Modern temples resembling temples from all across India, from the Himalayas to Kanyakumari, are the centers of inspiration. For the first time ever, a great opportunity to visit all the divine Divya Desams together is in one location. The base has a meditation hall with the statue of Ramanujacharya made of 120 kilograms of gold, that's a lot, representing the years he lived. The area includes several other attractions, amazing musical dancing fountain, enthralling educational and divine experience all around. But why is it called the Statue of Equality? Sri Ramanujacharya advocated against all the disparities in the society and he embraced, practiced, and promoted equality for all. He is referred to as an icon of equality. Equality across religions, castes, social status, and gender. In the time of Ramanujacharya, temples were the centers of administration under the control of one section of society. Ramanujacharya 
encourage inclusiveness by making sure to have people from all castes have a role to play in the upkeep of temples. And from then on, there were no restrictions based on caste to enter temples. There was a time women were not even allowed to pray. Chant God's name. Unimaginable, right? But true, Sri Ramanujacharya showed his concern for women in those tough days and opened learning channels for women. He shared the mantra with everyone. The only qualification he wanted was to be devout and be inquisitive. Ramanujacharya is that gigantic reservoir from which all present day schools of thought that advocate equality have flowed out as creeks, rivulets, and tributaries. Come, let's enjoy his glory and learn from this magnificent monument representing equality. And as wonderfully said by Swamiji, let the statue reverberate within you, echoes of equality. Let those echoes become a yearning for equality. Let this yearning get translated into actions leading to equality. Jai Sri Manarayana. Jai Sri Manarayana.